Welcome back, guys, to more Kaito Files. All right, we're working our way up to the top of the building, and now we have us a little stealth section. Not my favorite, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Getting closer and closer to the end. Hate wasting some coin on these guys, but we gotta do what we gotta do, you know what I mean? I don't know if that guy can see me that this far or not. Is that guy still looking for me down there? Oh yeah, I forgot you can knock them out. That'll make things a lot easier. Sleep tight. Sleep tight. Beesh. That's right, I said beesh. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Not bad at all. So I lied when I said there wouldn't really be a, a lot more fight. I mean, it turns out that there's quite a few here. Try to make quick work of all these guys. Oh, that is, that's brutal. Oh, they just keep coming too. I don't have a problem with that. Good thing they give me all these nice chairs and tables to use. Let's keep it going. Why not? Now just keep beating and beating. There we go. <laughs> Give Kaido a weapon and it's all over for everybody. <laughs> I love that. Just all those crazy swings he does with the chairs and tables. I love that. Brute strength. It's funny. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. I guess. I guess we can do this. Why not? Haven't saved in a while anyhow. Tough enemies await. Probably need. Let's go ahead and hit that. 
try not to waste all my healing items because I don't know what I'm gonna run into. Oh dang, there's more over here. Heck yeah. Let's grab everything. Fresh lettuce sandwich. Give me a smoke break in real quick. That was one stubby cigarette. Yeah. Alright, let's get back to it. Huh. Obviously, he has to finish the cigarette. Unexpected. <laughs> let's wrap it up, son. I don't even know what that... I can't remember what smoking actually even does for you. Oh, there's something else here. Oh, that's the sake. I just passed it. Literally, like... Two seconds ago. This it? I'm ready. Let's do it. Mickey Cole. Stay back. Come near and I shoot. Come now, Mikiko. You would really shoot your husband? That's the only reason I'm here. Very well. Then perhaps let's settle down and talk this through. Talk? What is there to talk about? Well, try putting this all into perspective. Are you sure you want to kill me? Can you kill me? Oh, I've got an answer to that. <laughs> but what about our son? What would June think? Would he condone his mother's actions as a killer? Have you even considered the thought? <sighs> of course you have. Compassion comes naturally to you, and guilt's enough to freeze you in your tracks. After all, that's what gives this woman her charm. Wouldn't you agree, Kaito-san? Sinister fuck. Unfortunately, nice people don't make money. Business opportunities are all around us. Most fail to seize them, let alone comprehend they're there. Why? It's simple. They're inefficient at drawing wealth to themselves quickly and competently. Instead, they sate themselves on worldly affairs and superficial relationships. They're worthless. So, you cut down your old pals and burned her family alive. They've been nothing to you. Precisely. You catch on quick. I like your potential. Now I'll admit the Natsume family ordeal was a risky choice. But the results really spoke for themselves. It was a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. Human bastard! Kyuya! You think you'll get away with killing my parents? My sister? You're dying right here! Right now! How curious. You actually seem like you mean it. Well, at least you came prepared. Glad I took the steps to confirm that. Late, Kenmochi. Uh, my bad, Kyo-chan. <laughs> Damn you, Saramoto! Settle down. You move and June dies. Understand? <laughs> Can't move, can you? He takes after me, that's for sure. Never know when he'll catch his old man off guard. Seems I was right to discipline him the way I did. Asshole! That's your own son right there! Now then, Mikiko. 
The real party is about to begin. What? First, let's dispose of any unnecessary baggage. Shoot Kaito, and I will release June. No. <laughs> Okay, bud? I'm gonna help you out of this. <laughs> Mikiko, don't listen to any of this guy's bullshit. I know that. What can I do? I bet he won't think twice about killing her son. You still think Mikiko was the one taking down Crimson Lotus? Of course I do. The hell are you talking to me for? Because there's something you might want to know. Each time Mikiko went to take out your buddies, someone else had gone and done them in first. They were dead by the time she got there. Get out of here! With her memories back, and a plan to kill Crimson Lotus, Mikiko became a huge threat. Enough! to scare the killer into action. And by killing his old pals, he could erase his dark ties and pin the crime on Mikiko in one fell swoop. The fuck are you yapping on about? Still don't get it? It's the guy standing next to you. Your legendary guru is a traitor. What? Hmm. I hear Sadamoto's been making the rounds on the media lately. Earned himself a reputation as a CEO in demand. It's why he can't afford having his connections to you guys surface. And on top of that, he needed to act fast to keep Mikiko from ever reaching out to you guys. What are you saying? Mikiko knows some dark shit about her husband's past. And Sadamoto didn't want you spotting any discrepancies between her truth and what he fed you. Had that happened. You probably would have gone after him yourself, Kenmochi. You said it was an accident that Maho-chan and her parents were burned alive. Nobody was supposed to be home, right? Well, yeah. I was told they were on vacation. The place was supposed to be empty. Let me guess. Sadamoto gave the order. Told you nobody get hurt. So what? What are you getting at? Your guru made it loud and clear before you showed up. He said the Natsume family ordeal was a risky choice, but the results really spoke for themselves. He knew Maho Chan and her parents were home that night. And he still had you burn the place down. No. Since you guys were just after the property, you had no reason to burn anyone to death. Even a hardened criminal might flinch at such an order. But Sadamoto's no ordinary thug. He wanted the Natsume's fortune for himself. And for his company to survive, he needed them to die. That's why he lied to you. After fixing up his own alibi. Bullshit. He's lying, right, Jochan? Huh. You've hit quite the sore spot. Sadamoto, you only had me find Mikiko, so you could get to her before Crimson Lotus. But when I found her, you planned to lock her up and wipe out Crimson Lotus yourself. Then you wait for the perfect time to finish her off and make it look like suicide. Sound about right? <laughs> I knew I liked your potential. Shuchan! What's this guy saying? It's all lies, right? The night of the arson was Mahu Chan's birthday. <sighs> the Natsumes and Mahu Chan were big on wine. 
So I sent them a vintage Bordeaux to celebrate. After all, what's a million yen between friends? Chuchan! Meanwhile, I was enjoying dinner at a restaurant with my lovely wife. From there, I gave Mahochan a call and wished her a happy birthday. She told me the wine was delicious. Even the Natsumes, who were notorious wine snobs, enjoyed it. I was worried my secret ingredient, sleeping pills, had altered the taste. But to my relief, it all turned out fine in the end. What? If it's any consolation, the Natsumes were dead asleep. I'm sure they went out painlessly. Yuya! How could you? Hey, Yuchan! This is just one of your jokes, right? Hmm. Should be any moment now. Delayed, I suppose. That's more like it. Finally, the stuff started kicking in. Big relief. Shoot shot! This is bad! The whole party's... Oh. oh, no! It appears to be taking a bit longer than I'd have liked. Okay, Sadamoto, tell me. What the hell did you do? <laughs> I imagine this will go down as one of the deadliest dinners in history. Would you like to see? <laughs> Aren't I thoughtful? Excellent! I've just killed the final four members! A resounding success! You piece of shit! You poisoned their drinks? Yes, I used the slow-acting stuff. A quicker poison wouldn't do for taking out a large group at once. Anyone who gets a drink later on would find out it's poisoned and refuse to touch it. Even so, I was starting to worry I'd miscalculated since the effects took so long to show. Terribly sorry, Kemochi. I'll hold a grand funeral for you, so try to rest in peace, okay? You even targeted innocent people! I wouldn't say I targeted them. There was a designated table for everyone in Crimson Lotus. I can't help it if some non-members stopped by for a drink. So at that point, I would say it's on them. Besides, wouldn't it make more sense for a vengeful, hate-fueled killer to pile on a few extra casualties? The public is much more liable to eat up a dramatic story, after all. You're out of your goddamn mind! And now, Mikiko, the curtain rises on you. The time has come to kill Kaito. Do it, and I'll spare you and the boy. Why in the hell would I listen to you? Ah, right. Perhaps this scenario merits a bit of explanation. As for tonight, I'm technically not supposed to be here. 
Well, I was supposed to make a surprise appearance, but only a few people know. Anyway, I left your hair and fingerprints in the kitchen, where the poison was prepared. And on the rooftop, your ex-lover's bullet-riddled corpse will be found. That'd be you, Kaito-san. On top of that, I've arranged it so a news leak will soon reveal Crimson Lotus as the masterminds behind the Natsume Arsa. As the story goes, you took the lives of each one out of vengeance. This party was held to clean up any stragglers. And when your old boyfriend caught wind of the whole affair, you gunned him down too. That is what the cops and the media will learn. It was you all along, my dear. <sighs> but I won't just leave you dry. Kill Kaito and I'll throw in a hundred million yen. You could use that to flee overseas with June and live a comfortable life. <laughs> Though, I imagine that wouldn't appeal to you. How could you murder an innocent man? So, once Kaito's dead on the ground, I suggest you kill yourself as well. The hell? If you go through with it, I'll even add another hundred million for June. <laughs> At least I'm offering child support, more than a lot of fathers do. Now hurry up and shoot him! You were itching to kill someone, weren't you? Take too long and June will be the one to die. <laughs> he really was the devil after all. I was naive. I'm so sorry. I dragged you into this mess. It's okay. I'm here. Huh? Well, this changes things. Your little storyline just took a twist. What are you playing at? How about I rewrite this scenario? A dirtbag husband commits mass murder, then gets caught and tries to pin it on his wife. So a Yakuza steps in and puts him down. <gasps> I go to jail and it's happily ever after. Just stay out of this. You can't get blood on your hands. June needs you in his life. <clears throat> can't imagine I'll miss at this range. say that, but how else am I going to get strong? Strong enough to protect the people I care about. You want to get strong, June? Then focus on what's in here. Huh? What do you mean? Just keep that fire burning in your heart, and it'll all make sense one day.
least. Mom? Wait. Everything was a lie. Everything you've ever said to me was bullshit. Our marriage was bullshit. I guess you got what you wanted. Same roof with the monster who killed my family. My only sister. How does it feel right now? You calculate this too? Goddamn coward! Mickey, go. Don't do it. Oh, I should have ended this a whole lot sooner. Something precious. <laughs> when we split, I was the same as you. I only wanted revenge. It nearly killed me. I realized what was precious was right in front of me. But then I went down the path of vengeance. For the boss of the Matsukai family. And now, here you are, doing the same thing. Why, Mom? What happens now? You can't get yourself locked up? So sorry. God damn you. It's all your fault. Why, huh? Why'd you do it, Jochan? Why? 